Am I capable of broadcasting, folks? My wife said I could go ahead. Because, like, she turned off the uh, one thing. And then the other thing's always on because that's just how we do it. And, you know, there's a lot of things to flip switches. I like it when she flips my switches. Ugh. Yeah, flip my switches, babe. Come on. Working on redesigning the website. Oh, the website's getting an update right now. That's what's going on. I feel like, no, I'm not. Never mind. I just got my uh, headphone in the proper position because, yeah. What's up? So, folks, what are we doing? Huh, fuckers? Yeah. What's up? We're just chilling over here. NFGR, right? I got some shit to do because uh, <laughs> I got uh, this fat guy coming up. Yeah. 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 So, check it. What I'm going to do right now is uh, we're going to spin some shit. I don't know what we're going to spin. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on what the fuck I decide to grab, man. Because there's like lots of it. You know? Like, I don't know. What am I feeling? You know? And whatever. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Uh, excuse me. That's right. Fuck it. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. See? Ha, ha, ha. That fuck with me because uh, they're not in. I've been bumping this track, y'all. I have. Mad love for this shit is fucking dope, Damien. It is. <laughs> but yeah. This is uh, Damien Quinn's The Sun's Gonna Shine. Yeah, check it. For real. Yeah, this track's dope. Y'all need to listen to it. I just, sorry, I've got it on my mind because I just cut some shit uh, together because, you know, I cut them drops, right? Yeah, and I've been, I'm, I'm actually pretty, pretty up, morbid. I'll have yours uh, cut tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty actually, pretty caught up for fucking once. Babe, how'd that happen? I don't know how the fuck that happened. You know how it happened? I'll tell you how it happened because I got like four different videos from like four different venues I need to cut together. That's what it is. It's because I haven't cut any video. But I got a shitload of video I actually need to cut. Right? That's, that's the fucking truth of it, folks. All right, but I was trying to get all this audio shit out for you. We'll get that fucking video shit out for you at some point in time, cause you know, I just man, I just need a fucking editor. That's the goddamn truth of it. What the fuck are you gonna do? Why the fuck is this fucking fucking with the speed of that man for real? Pisses me off, man. I know that ain't how it's supposed to see. It does that, yeah, yeah. But fuck it, sun's gonna shine. Yeah, my Damien Quinn. Check this shit out, y'all. Yo. This is the other face of Wisconsin, the Ian Quinn. Catch me at Facebook.com slash The Real Dark Half. It's not a question, this obsession. Cult shit! Shout out to the cult crew. I just can't take no pleasure in killing. There's just some things you gotta do. Don't mean you have to like it. Kill somebody. Chop what? off their heads. Oh, man. Don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. Yo, cult shit! Shout out to everybody that reps cult shit. You're listening to No Fucks Given Radio. Yo, what are we gonna do with the body? That sucked. But you could probably chop it up. <laughs> Things happen here about, they'll tell about. <laughs> I, I see things. Yo, check out Damian Quinn's Insight for the Insane every Sunday at www.horrorcoreradiolive.com, 7 p.m. Central. Young Ghost might do his own Jankum. He might do Possum Jankum. What the fuck? We might do Possum Jankum. We might not. What the fuck are you talking about? You have to tune in live to see Horrorcore Radio. Garrett is my homie, no fuck that, my brother. And if you don't believe me, you can blow me, motherfucker. Rest in peace, Chino. Cool shit. Work. Hey, I don't know what happened. Virtual DJ had a bit of a shit, apparently. Mike wasn't on. Fuck it, too. I think it's because I was like, it was like, you're deleting too much. Why are you deleting another playlist? You keep doing this. It's like, that's because I'm not doing it right. Because, like, I got way too many motherfuckers that just aren't on that list that ain't getting played. That 
You know, much love, BPTF. For real, though. Like, yeah, but I got, like, three year tracks in a row. Like, I always try to stop it if I see three. You know? Because even if it's me, fuck that. I'll try and stop me at two. What are you going to do, yo? You know? Fucking. Like I said, it's because we don't normally like do it like that, though, you know? You know how it works, I think, maybe. If you've been on the site before. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. Fuck it. Yeah, uh, look at that. Yo, this motherfucker right here. Yeah, the summoning, right? Featuring Chaos and Pyro and Dosha Demon. Mm -hmm. Aha, look, I got it right, dog. It's Dosha Demon. You know, Dosha Demon fucks around with the unknown factor. I know that for a fact. He makes beautiful things when I send him chaos. He does, truly. But this is the summoning by Dosha Demon featuring chaos and pyro. Oh, heh, pun not really intended, dog. My bad. But hell yeah, listen to this shit. See, and I believe it was a uh, no Ripper Phoenix that was like, "Yeah, you are a DJ." No, I'm not, dude. I fuck up all the time, right? But I won't do that shit on stage, right? Just the first time, you know. Not again. You won't see. You want to see me? Check me live at Pop Sub. But fat guy, my apologies, man. I was having goddamn issues with virtual DJ, and apparently. It decided to be a goddamn cunt and fucking not record this shit proper. So, um, this is Fat Guy. Yeah, from Fort Wayne, Indiana. You know what I'm saying? Well, right, we're going to drop right into the conversation because, like I said, for some reason that first couple minutes just was a bitch and was like, fuck you, right? But the first thing we're going to go into, man, is I uh, ask him about all these shootings and everything. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go right into his opinion of that. And what he thinks goes on with the world, you know? Because I think it's pretty goddamn fucked, personally. Right? Let's see what fat guy thinks, y'all. But, man, it's a bunch of young punks out here thinking they got, oh, I got to get my name up in the streets. So they go out and shoot one person. And then their buddy's like, oh, well, he killed my homie. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to kill him. It's just going to it's gonna be revolving. It's, it's a revolving circle that's going to continue. I mean, there's, there's really no way to stop it. I mean, you can put as many fucking... Uh, youth centers up, you can do as many after school programs as you want. These kids are still gonna, you know, follow the ways of they, what they want to do, you know what I mean? And what they're growing up around and what they're seeing and, I mean, it's, it's mainly, you know, there's really no stopping it. it it's, it's just, just, you know, you can put a halt on it, you can put people in jail, oh. you, you can, you know, these people are killing each other, but I mean, putting people in jail, all the There's a bunch of young punks out here thinking they got, they're 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 Oh, I gotta get my name up in the streets so they go out and shoot one person and some minor and everybody's like, I mean, next thing you know, you're a fucking kingpin, you know, you get out there, kill my homie, so I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna you know? kill him. So it's, 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 gonna, it's gonna be revolving, it's, it's how, how they want their life to end up. If they wanna end up in a pine box, they're gonna end up in a pine box. I mean, that circle that's gonna continue. I mean, there's, there's really no way to stop it. I mean, you can put as many fucking. Hold on for a second, man. I'm having a fucking issue. You centers up. You can do as many after school programs as you want. These kids are still going to, you know, follow the ways of they, what they want to do. I don't know what they're seeing. And, I mean, <laughs> it's it's mainly, you know, there's really no stopping it. it it's, it's just, just you know, you can put off. All right. Well, let's see. Yeah, Call it. Put people in jail. Oh. You, you, can, you know, these people are killing each other. We're back. Check it out. Yeah, I know fucks giving our having a bit of technical difficulties, you know, because we always have, you know, some. We always usually manage to deal with them fairly quickly, though, thankfully, anymore. Um, that was my wife turning on the fucking website and having the shit broadcasting into computer broadcasting this all to y'all while I was fucking also broadcasting all of it off of it. So it made for a weird little loop. You know, and I apologize for that, folks. That's what's up. But my wife fucked up and then walked out of the goddamn studio like a jackass because that's what she does, fat guy. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it happens, man. Technical difficulties, but uh, we were back and running now. Yes, we are. Yeah, and that was Dark Knight. You just heard from a uh, fat guy here, and then after that. It was uh, Damian Quinn with Are You Ready, right? Which is off his new 300 meat hook. You need to go fucking download that. You can get that shit for free off our website, as a matter of fact, at nofucksgivenradio.com or somewhere else. Damian, I'm sorry. I don't, you sent me the link and I went to it and I was like, click, this is dope. 
You know, I don't remember what the fuck I think that was, right? But you can always find it at, at, uh, at our website as well, right? We're going to get back to Fat Boy, though. He's up in Fort Wayne, man, right? So I know you rep up in Carl's, right? I know you performed at Carl's quite a few times, dog. Um, God, dude, I know, dude. See, I need to see your face. I do. I do. I'm half about to go look at this man's face. Is that terrible? That's a terrible, fat guy. It really is. <laughs> It's like, it's really bad, dog. I got a terrible goddamn memory, people. I do. It's, oh, look, man. I'm trying to type in fat man like the fucking Kevin Smith. Ha, ha, ha. That's what's up, dog. You know? Oh, look. Let me see. Let me see. I need I need to see that pretty face, dog. You don't need to look that fat. You shut the <laughs> fuck up. Right? Oh, yeah. God, I used to. I used to be fatter. <laughs> really? Wait, how much do you used to weigh? Uh, almost 400 pounds, so. Damn. Okay, hey. Yeah, hey. I've seen you perform, dog. Your shit's dope. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Hell yeah. Been doing this shit for a long time, man. Once I seen your face, I was like, oh, yeah. I remember that fucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, dude, for real. How long you been doing this? Uh, I've been in music for 15 years. I'm 30, well, 16 now. I'm 31. I just turned 31 uh, two months ago. Uh, last month, actually, last month of June 6th, I turned 31. So I've been doing it for like 16 years now. <laughs> Damn. See, and dude, for real, like I just started getting back into the underground scene, especially like I didn't know about anybody locally two years ago. You know what I'm saying? From from you to fucking uh, Bulletproof and the Fool, Lords of Chaos, like, Music Second Pam, I didn't know about anybody, you know what I'm saying? Just because right. I, I hadn't been to the show. The, 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 scene, the, the, scene, the scene's been, I mean, the scene's been watered down a lot in Fort Wayne. I mean, <clears throat> there's a lot of artists out here that are like, they're doing it for the, for the wrong reasons. You know? I do it for the love of the music, so I mean, it, it separates, I mean, I guess it puts the dividing line just in Fort Wayne because there's so many, but at the same time, they're all taking the same approach, but still see it as a competition. I, I don't know. It's just, you know, you either do it for, either for the love of the music or don't do it at all, really. I mean, that's how I look at it. Hell yeah. I get you. It's like Whitney Payton says, dog. You gotta break the fame frame. We'll All right, we're back. No bucks to give an hour, motherfucker. I don't give a shit how about you. I'm the unknown factor, and I got fat boy. Man, look, I about fucked it up again, fat guy. I keep wanting to call you fat boy, dog. I don't know why. It's like, <laughs> so I typed. I started to type fat man in when like he was fucking Kevin Smith. When I was fucking looking it up in fucking Google, or I mean not Google, fucking Facebook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's fucking I just can't keep it right, dog. It's fat guy though. Fat guy, yeah, yeah. check him out. All right? You can find this shit on Facebook. That's true. I found that shit easy as fuck, right? Oh okay. yeah, oh yeah, man, most definitely. I like she. Look. I know what you're getting in your drop, but that's besides the point. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Perfect. For real though. <clears throat> um, what the fuck? Hey, so we were talking about some shit as far as the scene, dog, and I want to know uh when you look at the underground as a whole right now, because you've been doing it for a while, so you've been able to look at it, I, I would assume, at a greater depth than I have. What do you think of it as a whole? As a whole? I mean, they say they say a lot of candle lights can make one one light, one huge light, you know? And right now, the local scene is, is as a whole, we're all a bunch of little candles right now, you know what I mean? <clears throat> all those candles are, are are against each other, though. If you look at it, I mean, yeah, people will do a collaboration with you and be like, oh, yeah, I, I worked with him. But, I mean, most of the time, you're just emailing shit back and forth, so you never really get in the studio with somebody, you know what I mean? That's like, a lot of artists like that, I mean, you, you when you want to work with somebody, you want to work close with them. You don't want to, okay, I'm just going to send you my track, and, and you can record it and then send me the recordings, you know? You wanna if you wanna work together, you're gonna work together in the same studio. You know, I've, I've done <laughs> several projects, collaborations. I mean, with people, and we've never even you know what I mean. We only see each other at shows. We've never worked on music, you know, shit like that. I just I, this music shit is <clears throat> it, it's 
huge, you know, it's it's bigger than local, you know what I mean? People people are stuck on their local ways and they think that, oh, it's gonna be oh, I'm gonna get signed, I'm gonna do this, you know. Stop worrying about getting signed and, and, and you know, work on work on your craft. Get your craft and where you want it and you know, you can't I got this is this is a, the one of the statements I put in a new song that I'm working on. I got a new project that I got going called the Booth Monster. Uh I don't know when it's even going to be coming out. I got so many tracks, and and, and every day I'm recording a, like a new track. So it, it might even be a double disc. I don't even know yet. But I said I I, I can't be better than anybody else. I got to be better than myself. So it's one of those things where it's never a competition with me. I I want to be able to be like, hey, hey, we did that one track we did that one time, and everybody's like, oh, it's a fucking classic. You know, I want I want to make a classic. And be able to, you know, be proud of that classic. And there's a lot of, I mean, I've got several tracks. I have, I have over 350 tracks. So it's it's not Wait, like, oh. Uh, no, no. Hold the <laughs> fuck on. Hold the fucking goddamn motherfucking son of a bitch fucking phone. <laughs> You're telling me you got over 350 fucking tracks and you sent me two? <laughs> no, I, I, said, I thought I sent you like five or six. I, I mean, hell, I can send you more. Oh, don't play. I mean, hell, I got I got tracks for years, man. When I when I told people, like, I was on house arrest for a year. So when I sat on house arrest, it's all I, I could do, you know what I mean? I put out three mixtapes on house arrest in a year, you know what I mean? Damn. So it was, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's all work, man. It, I call it, it's, it, people call it progression, you know what I mean? And, and with every project I work on, I progress even better. So, I mean... Who knows what the hell I'll be doing. I, I haven't dropped an album yet. I've just been doing mixtapes, you know, and, and I was going to quit doing mixtapes, and everybody's like, why? You know what I mean? Keep going. Why stop? You know what I mean? If, you, if you're great at doing something, for one, you don't do it for free, and never stop doing what you love. You know what I mean? If that's something that, that drives you, that's your passion, that's what you do, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. But hey, no, no, I only have two tracks from you. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll say, hell yeah, I'll send way more, trust me, I got, fuck man, I, I've been doing this shit for so long, I have mixtapes that ain't even been out, that I recorded before I even dropped my very first mixtape, that are, you know, people would be like, what, that's you, you know, Cause they, they, you know they're, they're listening to it like, that don't sound like you, but then they hear some of my new shit, like, oh, that sounds like you, but I, was, I mean, I was a kid, you know, I didn't really know shit, I was just handing my money to somebody else, you know what I mean, at first. I got fucked over a few times, and I became a producer. So I became a producer for like 10 years. You know, and I, I started being an engineer. I started doing everything all myself. So when I get in the studio, I'm a journeyman. I get in there. I can record, mix, master, everything right there on the spot. So, I, I mean, I, I built myself to who I am. You know, there is no, oh, I got taught by this person. This person taught me. No, I did all that shit on my own. I mean, I'm self-made. So, hey, that's how I have to, you know, how I have to be. Hell yeah, dog. I get that. I get that. Fucking A, man. Like, because <laughs> it is, man. Because I guarantee you, like, there's a couple, dude, there's a couple people that shows you, like, you've seen little things done, right? And that helps you along? Well, I mean, getting, like, it depends. I got, like, a lot of my business standpoints, I got that from old school people, like, older people. When I was growing up, you know. I learned business, I learned structuring, you know what I mean? I learned everything like that. I had a homie, a homie taught me how to write 16s, and once I learned how to count 16s, I went from there and just went on my own path to start writing my bars the way I write them. And uh, a lot of people call me a realist, a realist you know what I mean? I, I, I mean, I, I don't sugarcoat shit, so people get upset with, upset, upset with me. I guess I don't think before I speak on certain things. I guess people need to be people want to be pampered these days. Like, oh, oh, oh! Like, if a song sucks, I'm gonna tell them, "Hey, that song was garbage." You might want to redo it. You know, and it's not gonna be uh, in a hateful way to be. I'm like disrespecting them, but I'm just you know <clears throat> being being in the, being in the standpoint where I'm at now in this shit. I mean, you don't ever want somebody to be like. Oh man, that song's tight, you know, and they give you all this credit, but then in the real world, hit you and be like, "Man, that shit is garbage as fuck." You'd rather want to hear it from one of your close people than somebody that nobody, you know what I mean? Where, where people, I don't know, I guess constructive criticism when I was younger was 
super easy to get over, you know. So as a, as a kid, I took their constructive criticism and I built something bigger to who I am now. I built who Fat Guy is, you know what I mean? That's who I am. Yeah, you actually remind me of uh, something of a uh, bootleg said, man, which is the fact that he said he'd go in and fucking record and then motherfuckers would be like, hell yeah. That shit was on point, you know what I'm saying? And he, his first thought would be, no, I'm going to go in tomorrow because I can hit that shit better. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. Hey, well, see, that's, yeah, look at it. I mean, it's all about when you, when you come down to, to music, I pride myself on pronunciation. Like when you when you get in the studio, be clear, you know, because I mean your recordings if if you do have an engineer or you're engineering it yourself, you want it to be clear. You know, you want to be able to hear everything. I mean, there's there's shit like out here in people's music, you know, like the hits and shit. People don't people might not catch it. But that's a producer ear, you know. That's not just a that's not something that, that a, a normal ass ear would hear. I mean I'm not I ain't got robot ears or nothing <laughs> but I mean when it comes down to it, 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 it's all about what you, you know what I mean, what you want it to be. You know, when people are, like, putting this fucking auto-tune shit on their voice and all that gay shit, I mean, that that shit right there destroys music. That puts music in a standpoint where it sounds like everybody's fucking crying. I'm, I, I mean, I'm not depressed. I'm not trying to be depressed. I need to fucking perk up a little bit, quit being a fucking pussy about everything, and everybody takes shit so fucking personal these days, man. I mean... The world, the world's going to hell, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> but oh, I, I still love my music, man. I got my music. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I honestly, I feel you on that, dude. I do. That's like, especially as far as the pronunciation, everything goes in recording. That's like the main reason I ain't recording right now is because uh, I'm in the middle of uh, having a teeth uh, corrected. Wow, you know fucking saying? right. Yeah, dude, and I'm just, like, I'm fucking, it's kind of annoying, because, like, dude, I've got so much shit written down right now, I want to record, and it's, oh, and I've written some shit, dog, but, I gotta wait until all this hey, shit. Hey, what you do is, you know, you know what you do? Mm-hmm. What I tell people how you do it is, man, if you got all that stuff written down, keep rehearsing it. Keep rehearsing, rehearse, 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 should be in the studio, fuck around and have a whole mixtape ready to be laid down, and within uh, days, you know what I'm saying? That's, oh, Hell it's all about do. being prepared. I write more. I do. I won't actually start doing it like that until I actually come into the studio and start recording it. And then, especially uh, based on the fact that, like, look, the way I'm going to be recording and the next time I record is different than any other way I've recorded. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, fat, uh, yeah, I fucking recorded my first track six, like seven months ago. So it's, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, but like I said, the next time I record, it's going to be very different from every other time I've recorded. Yeah, it's going to be at home. I'm going to be able to listen to it back and be like, oh, shit, I need to fix that and this and this and that. And then I'm going to say, yeah, that that's, I mean, that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. And, and see, I, I, I mean, agree. see, one thing, one thing I've actually, like, figured out is, I mean, it don't matter where the hell you record. It doesn't matter what you record on. It all depends on. How, like, your clarity in your voice and the fucking engineer behind your shit. Because, I mean, you can, <laughs> you can record it flawlessly, do all this shit to it, and there might still be a flaw in it that you don't know, but somebody else hears it. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things, like, that's why it's kind of hard for me. Like, it's not hard for me, but at the same time, it's a challenge sometimes when I'm working with other artists because I'm, I'm used to my own voice. And I'm not saying, like, conceited-wise or anything, but I know my voice, you know what I mean? So it's like one of those things when I'm working with somebody else, to get them on point, I, I fuck around it. What I do is I mute the whole track, and I work on just their vocals. And somebody's like, why do you do that? And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to learn their vocals. So then once they start fucking work with me more, I'll have them already preset, you know, in there, where yeah. their vocals are able. Why would you not work like that? Because, I mean, a lot of people are simple-minded when it comes to music. They they think it's just, oh, you get in the studio, record, and, you're, and your track's done. I mean, there's a lot more way behind, there's a lot more behind the music that other people don't know and don't see, or don't care to know, I guess, would, I would know it's there. See, I, I don't, I don't get that, man. Like, for real. I, like, why, if... If you're going to try and take the time to go in and record and make an album, why not take the time to try 
and make sure this shit's on point. I don't know. That's just my fucking opinion, though. And who am I besides some unknown asshole? That's fucking right. Now, but I don't give a fuck, and I'll say what the fuck I think. Like, I've honestly had issues as far as with people's music. Did you say that? Because, I mean, we've had a lot of people submit shit to the station. And if anybody submitted shit and we haven't gotten to it, I apologize. I'll we'll try to get to it soon. I make no goddamn promises. Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right no, on. I don't. I don't, but I'll try. No fuck you know. giving, man. Um, but I've had a couple submit, man, and I'm like, and one of them, dude, like, he, he was having a conversation. He wanted an honest opinion of his fucking, uh, of, like, why I was like, no. So I told him, and when I was done, he was like, hey, man, yeah, that's cool. I appreciate that, but just, you know, you should talk less next time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Way, was, way to try to tell you to shut up in the nicest I, way possible or well, something. <laughs> wow. well, yeah, I think it was because he was like, you got really fucking specific. Like, like really, really, like, dude, like, this, 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 and this. And, and that's just a fucking issue, and I'm sorry. You know? He must have been a pampered child. <laughs> I don't know, look. If someone wants to fucking, like, listen to one of my tracks and be like, hey, this is fucked up for this and blah, 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 and blah. And I'll either explain to you why I did it like that, because in some cases you're going to be like, why is this fucked up like this? I'm going to be like, because I'm fucked up. And that's how I wanted it, right? <laughs> it's, 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 right. Supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to make you go, what the fuck was that? What? <laughs> right. <laughs> Whatever, man, you know? And, and that's the fucking point of it, you know? Or, or I'll be like, oh, well, that's there because I fucked up. My bad. Or my producer fucked up. You know, depending on who it was. Right, hell yeah. <laughs> so, man, I got to know, like, what's it like for you going into writing a track then? You know what I'm saying? I mean, most of the time what I do is when I start, I don't even, I don't even pick beats. I don't, I don't fuck with beats. I'll, I'll write off verses with no beat, and then I'll just get in and form my, form my vocals to the beat. Because it, it gives me a better standpoint of how my rhythm and flow would be and I, I'll just pretty much go with a beat that's in my head kind of thing off, you know what I mean? Because there's no no beat, but I mean, I'll stay with a consistent flow off of, you know what I mean, just a kind of a simple melody out of my mind, you know what I mean? And I, I write my whole verse to that. <clears throat> Rehearse the verse a cappella, and then go choose my beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the easiest way I've found to do it, but I mean, a lot of artists, they like to, you know, sit down and listen to the beat, write to the beat itself. I mean, I feel like when you write to the beat, it doesn't come out freely, you know what I mean? When you write without a beat, and then put your vocals to the beat, you, I mean, you, you'll see that a lot of outcomes will be different on certain things, because you don't know how you want to spit that to that beat. But once you write it to that beat, it kind of, it sounds plain. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat shit. No fucks given, you know what it is. We fucking, you know, you, you want it to be original, you know, you don't want it to be rehearsed. That's how I look at it. I mean, when it, when it comes to the fresh beat, I mean, it's not rehearsed, you know, you're not sitting there going over the same beat over and over again. <clears throat> you just write, write your shit out and then form it to the beat. Hell yeah. Look, that's how you end up with a motherfucking beat mashup. Yeah, my fat guy. We'll be right back, y'all. I need my script. Okay, take two. Take two. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This is Shell Shell, and you're listening to No Fucks Given Radio, obviously. What the fuck are you doing here? We're so deep in the underground, we're in the sewer. And we don't need a fucking rat. You hear me? Yeah, we're here for motherfucking combat. <laughs> Courts adjourned. No, hey, fuck it. We're back. No fucks given hour. That conversation is only for all fair. I'm sorry, fuckers, but you know, that's what's up. You can't hear everything. If you're a regular listener, I think you're aware of the fact that just, because I'm sorry, sometimes private conversations have to be had you know that's what's up because we're all a little fucking mad right all right so we got a fat guy up in the house still right i found a bunch more tracks of his i did i found a bunch more of your tracks though i don't even know where the fuck they came from did you like oh i think i sent two different emails i believe i know what it is no oh wait did you send one way the fuck earlier yeah 
I see. The other one, the other one, the other one had more. The other one had more tracks inside of it, so it probably took longer to spin. <laughs> oh, you just like to put more inside, huh? I get it. I get it. Yeah. Wait, no. You sent both these CD or you sent both these emails today? No, not today. Oh, okay. Well, fucker. Well, wait. I got one from you today. What? Yesterday. Whatever. Damn, that motherfucker took like three days to spin, three or four days to spin, man. Well, no. The one, that was one that only had two fucking tracks in it. That's why I was confused, because I thought you just sent that. And, yeah, that's weird. Whatever. <laughs> Goddamn technology. Fucking Google. It's annoying ass shit, man. So I want to know, while we're uh, talking about Google and shit, right? What's your opinion of the fact that this is just, come on, dude, tell me. Honestly, do you think this country hasn't gone corporate? Oh man, Every, everything is everything is commercialized, man. The whole fucking world is really. I mean, most of the world most of the world is sellouts, and they're or the or the other half they're just trying to be something that they're not. You know, world's fucked up, man. Do you think it's fixable? And not with who's running for president. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh shit. So, what are your opinion of the candidates, then? I mean, <laughs> I don't even want to go there. Come on, man. Yeah, that's Fuck ugly. That. But it's still, it's, it's still no fuck given, of course. So, Donald Trump, who the fuck wants him as president? I don't know. I mean, oh, wait, 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 wait. He got a bad, hey. hey. bad hair piece. I mean, he ain't doing shit for himself. Poe Hussein Come on, man. actually wants bank, him as president. You can't, can't bank up the casino, my man. So much yeah. got money and shit. Fuck out of here. What do you think you're going to bankrupt the United States? We're bankrupt enough. Yeah. Get this fucking yeah. office. He's going to tear it up. Hillary, what can I say about her that has not even been said on fucking CNN? You know? <laughs> Good. I do. I don't know. The thing that worries me about Hillary Clinton more than anything is why the fuck is there not more of a problem with what she did? Because that just seems pretty fucked up. I mean, if she can if she can hide shit from, you know, people that are supposed to be trusting her, how the fuck the world's supposed to trust her to do what she's supposed to do without sneaking around and doing other shit? Dude, but honestly, do you, do you trust any president? Honestly, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to really trust anybody. You have to, you know, either either you trust them or you don't. And I mean, half the time, what I do is I give a lot of stuff they bury themselves. I mean, that's how the world goes, you know, the time of my life, really, you know, I'll, I'll put my trust in somebody, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll believe them, whatever, they show me any different, I mean, they buried themselves, and I'll look at it, so, I guess it's, a, I guess it's a kind of a fucked up outlook to have, but I mean, at the same time, I mean, when somebody shows you different, you know what I mean, and, and I guess you'll start to believe something else, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, your actions, and what, what people do, shit like that. Yeah, dude, I fully get you on that. So, man, based on that, I want to know, uh, and you can. I want you, I want you to answer this both on a local and more of a national level. How many people in the rap game do you think are just words and there are no actions? Uh, at least at least seventy five percent. Good seventy five percent. And seventy five percent in the actual rap game in the local scene. I mean, it all depends on your genre, your genre choice. No, 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 no. Everybody, so, everybody. There's got to be an average. It's, of probably, it's, probably, it's probably like fifty percent of, of locals are probably who they say they are. The other fifty percent are just trying to do it to, to gain likes on Instagram, likes on Facebook. You know, people that fucking fall in love with them. You know, it's. It's, it's not a way to, you know, it's a way to, to get themselves out there to be bigger so they can feel like, oh, I am, I am number one, you know. And, and this right here in the local scene, everybody thinks it's like a pole position, you know. Like, I, 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 I've been number one on Reverb, but I didn't make a huge deal about that. Because, I mean, Reverb Nation, it's huge, you know. It goes overseas. I got fans in the United Kingdom. I have fans over, you know. It, over in season, I, I've never even met, you know. I've had people message me, you know, ask me questions, shit like that, and they, it, it helped me get in touch with what fans think, you know, and, and oh, it's yeah. not, oh, I'm stupid because I care what they think, you know what I mean? If somebody 
hears my music to the point where they're like, damn, I, I, I feel where you're coming from. I've been in that trouble. I've been through that. I've had to do that same thing. And that's how he got through it. That's cool. You know what I mean? They, you know, it's, it's more of a, that's why I'm, I'm a hip hop artist and not a rapper. A rapper just talks shit. A hip hop artist actually delivers to a, a life story, you know what I mean? Front to cover, uh, you know, all the way, you know, front to fucking back, you know, and all the in betweens and beginning, middle, and end, you know, like a fucking storybook. So, I mean, like I said, about 50% of the locals are about who they are, 75% in the actual rap game are you know, who they say they are. But other, you know, the other, other, well, are who they say they are, at least six that. It's, it's, it's all fucked up. I mean, most people just do it for the glitz and the fame, you know, they want to, they want their name to be big, you know. Most people, I mean, to make their name household name type shit, where their name's brought up, you know, that's how, how most people look at it. No, man, look, I would way rather make it to where motherfuckers are just listening to NFGR in their house. As long as they're listening to it, I don't give a fuck who they're listening to. Because to spread real music like that, as opposed to the bullshit ugh, that is played on the fucking radio, would just make me happy. You know what I'm saying? For real. Oh, yeah. And I mean, some of these people, like, if you, if you look at it, some of these people that are actually in the industry... They didn't work hard to get where they were at. They just knew the right people. That's when they, when they tell you that it's who you know is the, the God honest truth to everything. You know what I mean? Like, it's not it's not who you are and what you can do anymore. When that when I I explain this to somebody that <laughs> the industry it's eighty five it's it's what is it eighty five percent business, fifteen percent talent. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's one of those things where you have to be on your business standpoint with music. You can't just expect everything handed to you when people are like, oh, I need to get in the studio. You tell them, you know, oh, it's going to cost you. Most people look at you crazy like, what? Like, I'm not going to pay you. Okay, well, then go down, the studio, go down to a different studio and fuck you up then. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I look at shit because I, I, know, my, I know my fucking caliper on music. I can do everything in music, and I don't never knock another producer for trying. You know, I, I like to see people blemish and get better and, and do things at a different different way that I do it. So then I'm like, okay, that's cool, you know what I mean? They, I want people to learn. That's what I want to I want to see people learn and, and take what they see, like, me doing. Like, I've had people that are like, hey, you know what I mean? Teach me how to be a producer. Which is not a problem. I mean, it, it's all about checking shit out and knowing what to do and I want people to learn from it and take from it and, and go and, and blemish it to themselves, you know, do something different, you know. Yeah, dog, I totally feel you on that. And look, that's one thing that I honestly want to do that I haven't done yet, which is just mix and master my own music. It's just, honestly, dude, it's got a lot to do with time because, like I said, I mean, I fucking recorded my first track seven months ago and then I started doing interviews in like six, Jesus Christ, Sorry, that's just really fucking weird to realize, fat guy. Um, so it was just a quick succession, you know what I'm saying? And I was initially working with someone around here, but then that shit fell through, and then this fell through, and then this other thing fell through, and now I finally working with Dosha Demon. Mad shout out in Dungeon Productions, right? That's what's up, out in fucking uh, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's where my demon is. He's chilling. Got shit in the works, cooking. He's got his own shit too, cause he raps. We got that on the fucking air. But yeah, dude, going through all oh, that. <laughs> like, I've just not gotten a chance to do that. Like, was there a point? I mean, what was it specifically that made you be like, "Well, fuck it, I'm gonna do it," you know? Um, it. Let's see. When I first started, I mean, it, it was all poetry, you know, would write some, some lyrics, and it was poetry at the beginning, you know, and I, I'm not one to be like, oh, I'm romantic and all that, but I could, back in the day, I could write poetry real good. It was one of those things where it just came to mind, I write it out, it, it came, and it was like, it stuck with me. So, I, I you know, after that, my, my homie and them, like, used to beat on tables and shit, in the lunchroom and shit. In middle school in Village Woods, and it, it started that way, you know, and it was like 
you know, at first, I mean, I couldn't write bars for shit, you know, I was just writing poetry, but then once my poetry started swinging into, you know, lyrical content to where it was like, damn, okay, I could put that on a beat, and then somebody make a beat, I spit it to it, and they were like, damn, it's just kind of tight, you know, and back in the day, I was known as Porky, you know what I'm saying, I was fucking with my homies, they, they all, you know what I mean, had their cousins did something me that name and shit, that's Porky Pig on some silly shit, because I was still fat back in the day. And, uh, so I, I mean, I, I started doing that, you know, and I, I got to the point where I was paying for studio time, and somebody fucked me over on studio time. So I was like, man, I, I, I'm done crafting. I'm about to get in here and start producing shit. So then I started getting all my own equipment. By the age of 19, I set up a whole studio, had my own studio and shit going, and everything was good. I started making music, but I wasn't even recording that. I was recording other people. I mean, truthfully, if I would, uh, Dog? Yo, guy, oh, my homie you're cutting out stuff. terrible. I'm telling you, like, back then it was like, oh, you're my homie. So they thought they could come in and record for free. You know, and I, and I let it slide because I was like, you know, I'm new to this shit. I don't really know how to do this shit. I'm, I'm learning. You know, I was teaching myself as I was going. But, it, I mean, it got to a point where, and you know what actually made me get back into my artistry shit and the writing? Yo. The fucking song, Chicken Noodle Soup. I wanted to blow my fucking head off when I heard that song. I'm like, somebody is really getting rich off singing about chicken noodle fucking soup with a soda on the side. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, okay. the, the world, The world needs, the world needs real music. This bullshit that they're putting out is not where it's at. And I got Hell. back writing like 10 times harder. 10 Hell. times harder I started writing. Hell yeah, man. Step in the industry like you're going to make some motherfucking stretch marks by Fat Guy. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right so I'm going I'm to run that one back again, y'all. This has been Big Doodle with a fuck up. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. And fuck you, I'm out. No. Uh... This has been Big Brutal for uh, Twisted Motors Entertainment Family for the No Fucks Given Radio Hour. Radio Hour. Radio Hour. Radio Hour. Radio Hour. And uh, I'm gonna, you guys can go ahead and find my music at facebook.com slash Big Brutal S-I-K at this moment and soundcloud.com slash Big Brutal and anywhere else across the web you might think. Oh, I'm sorry. My car. Big brew, just hit that search tab and get going. I know it's that fucking no fucks given hour though, and I don't give a shit, man. What's up? I'm the no factor. Still got fat guy chilling, right? Still gonna dig a little deeper. I've got him to go into things that he said he wouldn't. Chi ching, that's winning right there. Like my name is Charlie Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> What's up though? We ain't going into your music a whole lot though, dog. So let's uh, go into that a little bit more. You down in Florida right now? What are you doing down there? Yeah, um, I'm actually working down here. I drive. I drive for a RV company kind of thing. Drive an RV. Ah, I'm so down here just chilling now. So, where's the farthest you ever got as far to go do a show? Um, honestly, Michigan City was the farthest I've went and did a show. I'm actually looking to set up some shows out here in Florida uh, next time I come around here. I'm trying to stretch out while I, while I'm, I'm using this use this to my advantage to actually get out and branch out, do more. Hell yeah, dog! I mean, if you got a job that's gonna put you down there, <laughs> fucking try and get booked on the show, get known in that area for real. Especially if that's hell yeah. Show you I mean, overnight. that's what's crazy is like you can get complete strangers to support you. You know what I mean? And and people that you know you're not from their city they're more likely to, to represent, but you know what I mean, to actually support you. But I, I, find it to, I find it to be weird because, I mean, most of the time you, you think people in your city would want to see you get better, you know, or go further. You know. You know but I found, it to be, I found it to be the people that are out of state and the people that don't know you, that just get to know you and be like, oh, okay, he's cool people, I like his music, they'll support you. I mean, I, I find it to be weird. No, dog, actually, I find it to be the norm based on how many people have told me that. I I 
am not going to go back and figure it out because fuck that. I don't have time to go through all those fucking interviews. If some listener would like to, that, that'd that be funny as fuck. I have fun, though. That's like, I, I don't know, like a good 48 hours of research. I'd say, no, wait, no, yeah, probably around 48. That's probably about right. You know, but I mean, I've heard a lot of artists say the exact same thing, man. Um, I mean, it's just true. So when it comes down to it, it's 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 harder to get your city. Like when they tell you most, like when I when I first learned, you know, about some of the music business, they tell you the first place you capture is your city. Then you capture your state. Then you capture your region, and then you you start going into other regions. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're supposed to do it. It's kind of like a a, a step pro- a process or whatever. When you get into the like, that's what everybody. That's what I was. You know, I've I've heard that from several people. That's that's what you know. You take it, take your steps to what you're supposed to. Do. But I mean, if you you know, I grew up in, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and it's I mean, it's hard to get people to support you out there. It's, it's Carl. Shout out to Carl Tavern. Huge shout out to Davis and Nettie. I mean, they yeah. have supported me 100 percent ever since I you know what I mean. I started coming to their establishment. And David found out I did music, and he was like, well, bro, bring your music up, you know, let's check it out. And I mean, he heard my shit and was like, bro, hell yeah. He was like, you know, shows aren't going to be a problem for you. Don't worry about it. So, I mean, I, I so much love for Carl's Tavern today. It was funny. I mean, they they are they are the local scene there, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're the, the local venue, I mean, to, to go through. I mean, go in there and you feel like family there, you know what I mean? That's what it is. Hell yeah, dog. I agree. Like, I dig Carl's. And not like that, man. They got some great-ass fries. You know what I'm saying? Come on. They're fucking wings. Man. Wings, man. They're, they're, their chicken wings are fucking amazing. I keep hearing about these wings, and I ain't taking the time to fucking, you know, eat none the of them. I always get the fries, you know? But I ain't from Fort Wayne. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, Right. Hell yeah. I, I, know, I know Fat Guy is. He's like, I am so Fort Wayne. You be right back, y'all. Can't have a drop from me. I Man, you gave me a pain in the ass drop to cut half pint. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? The Chinaman is not the issue here, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Who was Blacklist that? Crew? Well, oh, he had a gummy. Who was that? An unknown. No, oh, man, start over from the top. That's a made up name. Oh, yes. Uh, it was Maniac T. And Houdini. And so- Jester. <laughs> So many things coming up. Uh, my album, Queen Shit, coming. We're going to have a Blacklist album coming. D Rock Trap World DVD CD coming soon. It'll have interviews with me and Maniac T and probably Boudini. Half pint. What the fuck? Let me give a shout out to uh, the Most High and uh, my mom and pops and my kids and all my family. And uh, I want to say uh, rest in peace with Gino and Doc Rock. The children of the night make their music. But check it out. I want to send a shout out to No Fucks Given Radio. Because I really love the way they give no fucks. And they let me speak my mind. And I like the way they speak their mind. So if you are about that shit. And you ready to speak your mind. And you better be ready for the interview. With my man unknown here. Representing 53rd Street. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Oh, don't you I don't think so. Blacklist, baby. Yeah, we're live. Right, no fucks given out. Right, right. I come in like crazy like that, and we're actually about to wrap up. How funny is that shit? <laughs> <laughs> that was unnecessary, folks. I'm sorry. Sorry, fuckers. You know, can't help it. There's part of me that just likes to hear my voice like that in the mic because it's like it's pretty. It is. What are you gonna do? I'm weird. And my wife is pretty. So I gotta get off here so I can go fuck with my brother. My, she's gonna punch me in the face. I need you to shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you okay, babe? <laughs> no, shut the fuck up. No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like the response I get, fat boy. That's what's fat the other boy. fat guy. Like, I'm gonna keep calling you fat boy. I'm just gonna call you fat man. All right, we're gonna call it Kevin for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible with names, and I'm a fan of cannabis, dog. What can I say? Right on. Love getting medicated, man. Stay medicated. 
I just hate living in the state that we do. You still ain't even an illegal state. If you was going to go somewhere and visit, like go to Colorado or Washington, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, it's all business, man. I'm, I'm working, so shit. I had to go, go where, the, where, where it goes. You know what I'm well, tell them to send you to Colorado, for real. And then bring me something back, would you? <laughs> right, a care package or something. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Look, you said it's RV. Do that shit like we're the Millers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be good shit, y'all. Oh, hell yeah. Get you a real dorky family. Yeah. With you. Yeah, you need the dorky family. Yeah. Are you married, dog? <laughs> um, I'm actually getting married next year, May 6th, 2017, and my beautiful fiance, Molly. Okay, see, I know you said you had a girl. I wasn't sure if you were married. Now, dude, I'm going to ask one more question. Then we're going to wrap this shit up. And then I'm going to wrap this shit up. And then I'm going to do this other shit. And that's what's up, right? But real quick, I just got to know. <laughs> right. Uh, how long have you been with your girl now? I've been with my girl for over a year and a half. Okay, so what does she think? And how does she take with you doing what you do uh, in the music scene? And is she supportive? Of I mean, she actually, she's like one of my... She has been by my side every step of the way with what I've been doing, all the bullshit that I've been through. She's been there for me. She's 100% my backbone to certain things that I, I've been through and what I've done and, and what I still go through on certain things. She's my number one supporter. Hell yeah, dog. I I totally fucking get that because like, that's the way my wife is. <laughs> I know that for a fact. That's why all this. That's why the website's getting updated right now, ladies no, and gentlemen. Not, I have oh, to stop, but I gotta. I, it's just a little food bar right now. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> the website is currently under conduct, construction, but it's no, still it's fully more, functional. Yeah, it's fully functional. It just looks like yeah, a food bar. Like I said, it's under construction. <laughs> it's just. It's still fully functional, but it's just there's slight construction going on. You know, like fucking 465 all the goddamn time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, yeah, I know fucking... Fat guy knows what I'm talking about up in this bitch. Yeah. He Fuck yeah. He's in Fort Wayne. Man, he... You go down to fucking, fucking 465, don't you? Um, sometimes. Depends. See, see, sometimes. And you know every time you on that bitch, there's construction, ain't there? Basically. <laughs> yeah, they're working on something. See? For real, it's, summer, it's summertime. That's that's summertime because that's when they work on the shit the most. Shit, it don't matter what fucking time of year it is. They're working on some part of that motherfucking road. I should know. I have drive right. around that whole <laughs> son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Crazy ass shit, dude. But hell yeah, that is dope. Your girl, your girl supports you like that, man. You got kids? Nope, no kids, man. Ah, look, he's got that advantage. It is, it is one man. For real, for real. Well, dog, this has been a dope fucking interview. You know what I'm saying? You want to give me shout outs before we cut out? Hell yeah, man. I want to give a shout out to um, my homeboy, uh, YO, my homie E Way, my homie Chunk. Shout out to my uh, my girl, Molly, of course. I want to give y'all both a shout out, man. Unknown Factor and Shell Shell, man. I appreciate y'all 100% having me on here. And uh, it's been a hell yeah, a great ass interview, man. I appreciate it 100%. Shouts out to Carl's Tavern. Always the uh, uh, Davis and Nettie man, of course. Hell yeah, dog. That's what's up, man. I just wanted to make sure I didn't interrupt you and shit. I'm prone to do that like a motherfucker because I'm a bit of a dick fucker. So <laughs> what you going to do? You know? But for real, I agree. And hey, Davis and Nettie, man, hopefully, uh, man, I intend to get back up there soon. Why y'all got to be so far? God damn. It's, it's, it's far. I need like a teleporter or a TARDIS or some shit. And I just, then they get sick and annoyed with me, though. They'd be like, fucking factor, I swear to God, you walk in this bar one more day in a row, I'm going to knock your fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you know, what can I say, dog? I'm a rare breed. I got that kind of personality. Yeah, this is rare breed. My fat guy. Have a good night, y'all.